I'm telling you, it is the fucking AC. The AC. It is. The AC is what, you know, causing me to cough like this. You know, because I'm coughing like I'm a fucking OG smoker. An old veteran smoker. You know? That ain't the case. That ain't the case. But, you know, they blast that air conditioner. And then that heat. Hot damn. You got crystallization, consolidation, and condensation. Now you get flame in your lungs. Now you get... <coughs> uh, nasty. Nasty. But I feel good though. I had some really, really good days. And you know, I've been having some really bad days. But I had a good day today. I did. I had a good day. Um, I want to finish the mysteries of the movie. Uh, and I think I'm going to do it this way. Me and my staff and my partner who talked about it. I'm going to do the series of the Mysteries of the Moon and also discuss uh, certain factions that you should know while we are going through this series. It is a complicated series because in this series, I want to cover the tarot card, the origins of the tarot card deck. Where do the tarot cards come from? Uh, Why are they here? Why have they survived all kinds of tests? and epochs of time and ages, including the persecuting church. How did we survive? How did they survive? You know? Um, and why are they so important? Because without the moon, tarot cards will be useless. They'd be useless. I have a deck here. I just got me some brand new decks. I got me this one, yeah, moon, the different phases of the moon, you know, you know, the Capricorn moon is here, you know, full moon, new moon, you know, and these alone, because it gives you information here, you know, these alone give you some good information. There's a lot of tarot readers that do readings for the collective. And I see in their desks that they have the deck. And that's really good and it's creative. I mean, um, I don't use them, but I'm an astrologer. I'm very aware of the moon phases, very aware of them. So I don't need a tar deck to read on you about the moon phase. All I gotta do is look at the moon and look at its face, look at you and know exactly what you're going through. But I'm an astrologer. An astrologer is not the same thing as a tarot card reader. Uh, a tarot card reader is a tarot card reader. And nine times out of 10, they don't have astrological knowledge to the degree that a professional astrologer does. Now, the other thing is that a professional astrologer can also be a tarot card reader because it all is derives and it's built from the same system. And that system is the tree of life, the Kabbalah. The term Kabbalah means to receive, to receive the knowledge of the star. Tarot card readers may be aware of the tree of life. They may be aware of the actual diagram and they might be aware of a few principles, but to know 
as a scholar to know this and correlate it to the decks of tarot cards, very few of them do. This is basically knowledge that is handed down to the collective by professional astrologers. So uh, you guys are lucky because I happen to be both. So to continue to talk about the mysteries of the moon, we have to we have to pause in a, in the, at a particular juncture and discuss tarot cards, which, if you read it backward, means Torah, and this is the Torah. We left off in letting you know that the universe was part of the grand design. For example, okay, from nothing came stars, galaxies, star systems, solar system, planets, you know, all bunch of shit. Now, some of you might be asking, well, how did that happen? Because in space, it's very cold very cold the coldness in space is unimaginable in human terms yeah how the fuck did this fire big bang start in such a cold place there is an answer but first let me grab my delicious aperol well you know that was coming yeah. You know that was coming. Oh damn! I have to go this way, and I didn't want to because I, you know, I don't want to knock the shit. It took me a minute to put it together. Ah! Uh, it took me a minute to put it together. Now I gotta see if I can find it. Uh, oh, you know what I did? I left it in the damn bathroom. Can you believe that? It's okay. I'll, I'll get me another cup. And when I take the shower, I take about three or four showers a day. When I go in there, I'll drink it right there. Right now, I'll take a nice, chill, and cold. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh, Child of Oshu will be modulating for those of you who are going to want to read it. And there are many of you that requested readings and, and paid when I did the readings, but there was something wrong with the sound at Zoom. So um, Ms. Farmer tried to fix it. There was a problem with the audio and the Zoom videos. So we had to do those videos over again. There was a glitch in the system. Uh huh. Yeah, because you know me. Any minuscule of a move, and our shit could be going down. I'm going down. Do, 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 do. Ooh wee hoo. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You know me and my apparel. And do you know when I went to buy this? I went to every liquor store in Houston. Could not find it. They ran out. You know what Spirit told me? They ran out of stock of apparel because too many people are buying them because of you. I'm like, really? I'm making that company make money? I said, good for you. You go, you go, you go get your bag. Get your bag. Because let me tell you. And the liquor stores, they were very upset because now they have to wait. They have they have back orders. When I tell you that me and, and my clients who are we spent two hours driving all of Houston. We went to two, three liquor stores. We couldn't find them. They were out of stock. And Spirit told me they're out of stuff because of you. 
Different. Like, and, and even the store manager said it. All of a sudden, we are getting uh, orders and, and we're running out of stock of Aperol. And I'm like, mm hmm. This is the shit, let me tell you. You know, my staff don't like it. And my business partner don't like it. And we, and we, and we go, we'll fight and we, ooh, I'm like, why? You, 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 you crazy? Just said that it was cough medicine. I'm like, what? Really? Oh, got my feelings hurt. Don't mess with my Aperol. Mm -mm. And they got fake ones out there too. No. I, if I was to work and be a spokesperson for that company, I'd say, like, you gotta make cherry, you gotta make mint flavor, you gotta make several flavors. What? This is literally, I, 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 listen, I stopped drinking. This is my alcohol. Only 13% tops. 13%. It's healthy. It doesn't get you drunk. It's too low of alcohol to get you drunk. And it's classy. Now, uh, what we are going to do differently is that if I don't get anybody that wants a $25 reading, I'm just going to continue proceeding with discussing the tree of life and, 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 and letting you know how everything in the cosmos that is visible and invisible is part of a DNA blueprint of the cosmos. And this is it right here. I know that somebody asked if extraterrestrials have birth charts like we do. Because in their vintage point, we are extraterrestrials. And we have birth charts. So from our vintage point, looking at them, do they have birth charts? Because to us, just like we are to them, they are equally as much as extraterrestrials as we are. So, and somebody was laughing at the person. And I didn't find it funny. It was a very smart question and a brave question to ask. And my answer is yes. And I'm going to give an example. In the other parts, about one, two, three, four, I discussed different aspects of the tree, right? Now we are going to discuss the interrelatedness of the Sephiroths. We identified in the other parts the components and the names given to these components of the tree of life. Now, I'm going to break down how it interrelates to us specifically and our solar system in particular. But the scheme of the cosmos beyond our solar system is also here too. And that comes with what uh, Kabbalists or, or Lubavitch, you know, high exalted rabbis, because there are different levels of rabbis. These Lubavitch uh, can break down as the ultimate high priests of the, of, of the Israeli state. And I don't mean it politically. I mean it, you know, spiritually, they can describe and explain the actual, the actual formation of our solar system and of the cosmos and the scaffolding, which is dark uh, matter. You all know that dark matter is the scaffolding of the cosmos in which the planets and galaxies sit. You know, because when you look out in space, you see planets and galaxies and stars almost like suspended, like there's nothing holding them. No, there's something holding them up. But we can see it with our human eyes. And we have discovered that recently in science, that's called dark matter. It's the scaffolding of the universe. This explains how dark matter is engendered. 
And then on top of dark matter, we have dark energy. Dark energy, and the reason why we call it dark energy is because we don't know its origin. It's a mystery, so it's dark. In this sense, you know, being used esoterically and allegorically is that we don't understand what this energy is. This energy is the energy of God or him or herself. But we can't see it. We can't touch it. We can't smell it. And it is this energy that somehow in a very complex way differentiates itself into different God-like sections called sephiroths. And they break out and subdivide further. And here is where it is dark matter created, which falls in the realm of Saturn, Bina. So we are going to do a run through of the interrelatedness and how it connects to the mythology of the planets, too. I mean, it's wonderful. This is the DNA of our God, Gaia. This is it. Just like we have a DNA, the gods have a DNA, and this is their DNA. As above, so below. Mmm, yeah. So it's, it's, that, it's, it's deep, and it's at that level that we're going to now correlate the tree of life and connected to man. Because even the way we look physically, our morphology resembles the tree of life. The head, the shoulders, and this is the chest right here. This is the heart, these are the arms. And then down here, you got the hips. You got the hips. And the angel struck Saul on the thigh, and he was named Israel. Well, there is Jupiter right on the thigh. So it connects with the Bible. There is the hips. Here are the sexual organs. That's why we got Venus here. And the moon, the cycles of the woman's menstruation. And then we got the feet, Pisces, which is the footstool. The feet of Pisces. So that's why even the way we look is represented by the tree of life. Do you guys see that? This is what we're going to do. Once um, Child of Oshun gives me the names of those who wants reading, and the limit tonight will be seven live. If you want a reading and, and, you, and you're past the number seven, It'll have to be pre-recorded and sent to you by email the next day. For you, for those of you who did not get your emails for the recordings for the for the eleventh on Sunday, there was a glitch in the Zoom platform in which there was no sound. We lost audio, but remember we were under heat advisory, so the system shut down on us. There was nothing we can do. I I did the videos anyway, thinking that they had audio. When Ms. Farmer checked them, they had no audio. So we had to contact Zoom and contact technical support. So those videos are being redone, guys. So don't worry. That, that's something that we could not control. Okay? So they are going to be done. Again, and it's 11 of you. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. We have to do that all over again because there was no audio. And now we've checked the system. We're not going to make sure that that mistake is not repeated. Okay? Uh, so it's not going to be that you're going to be wait, waiting days for your reading. No, 
this was just a glitch because we were under a heat advisory and we lost power and everything and we could not control the situation. Okay. Uh, exotic Bliss, you paid on Zelle, not PayPal. Uh, your name is Tracy Road. Yes, I remember you. I remember you. You were one of those on the list. Yes. Before I begin to discuss the tree of life and break it apart for you, let me see who's here. Show okay, how you doing? Lexi, how are you? Sadie Devereaux, how are you? Good evening, Aurora Coleman. Yes, I want I hope you enjoy your reading. Yes. Uh Baro Yakwaba. The good makes for the bad. I I, I hope so. I sincerely hope so. Sub D Barry. Yeah, I remember you were one of those from the 11th that I did. Yes, I remember you. Your reading was completely muted. There was no sound. Thank you. You know what? You're right. I need to buy some tea and coffee because it's terrible. It's terrible. You can get sick from the AC. Yeah. Yes, it was creepy, wasn't it? Wasn't it creepy? But let me tell you, a lot of times the formula is very creepy. But you know why it's creepy to you? You don't you want to know why? If I tell you this, this will this this will fuck you up. Because you're sensing the archons that are there, the original adversaries to us. And God shall put enmity against your seed and our seed. That's why it's creepy to you. You don't like you. You don't like humans. I, I cannot look at the moon too long. It is demonic. There is demonic energy there. There's a reason why we're not allowed to go to the moon. So you know you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not crazy. You're feeling something real because I feel it all the time, and I get heart palpitation, I get anxiety, like oh no, oh I can feel it. They are our natural adversaries of mankind. Oh, girl, child, you don't know. You don't know, but you will. One of you asked me, is what is the evil twin? What is the evil twin of the earth? Someone asked, someone said, Mercury. Please don't hate your uncle. But I lied to you. I could not tell you the truth. I wasn't allowed to tell you. But I will today. Because I did the necessary prayers. You have to ask permission. The evil twin of the earth is not Mercury. And I'll explain to you why. The evil twin of the earth is the moon. Don't forget that Jehovah, or whatever God you want to call it, he did this. Yeah, because I have to explain. Let, let, let me explain it. Yeah. Yeah, let, let, let me explain. Pretend that this is the earth. 
This is the Earth. And the Earth is being formed at its proper cycle and pace. And then an entity race attaches itself to it. And it begins to compete for life. Just like two plants that are different species are planted in the same soil, they're going to fight each other for those nutrients, right? So you have this entity being that in the grand scheme, in the gradient of all other archons, are inferior to humans, inferior to other galactic beings, but they are superior compared to humans, because humans are a new species being created. These beings are, are, have already been on the block. They're not smarter or superior to humans, but they have a head start in their development over humans on the same platform. So this is going on and going on, and now they're fighting human evolution. Now they're gaining control. Now they're taking over the earth because they're high vibrational and humanity cannot keep up. So now Jehovah goes, oh no, bitch. Oh no, ah, and does this. <sighs> now you are the moon and this is the earth. Now the earth can evolve at its own pace. And right on its side is this new creation being formed which was hostile to the development of humans. So now they are traveling together like this. To this day, the moon and the earth travel in a sedonic movement. The moon does not orbit the earth. The earth does not orbit the moon. They move in a dance together. We call this a sedonic movement. Jehovah separated it because they were taken over. This is translated in the story of Adam and Eve and the serpent. Oh, this is going to get deeper. Deeper, deep, 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 deeper, deep, 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 deeper. Mm -hmm. They were taken over and taking the resources that was created for mankind to develop. So Jehovah had to cast off part of the earth. And that became the moon. How do we know this? How do we know this? There is the moon and what's directly below it with the tube, see the tube connected right to it, the earth. There it is. There's, there's the umbilical cord. This is the umbilical cord. This is the history of the earth and the moon. They were always together. So the, the shadow side of the earth is the moon. The moon used to be a part of the earth. But these archons were deadly, dangerous to the developing humans. So they had to be cast off into their own demonic realm. Because it is here in this triad that good and evil exist. Remember, I said it, but I said that in the other parts. Are we clear? Are we clear? But that doesn't answer the original question. How did the cosmos develop form out of nothing? Cold, it was cold, bitch, it was cold. And all of a sudden there was smoke. And where there's smoke, you know what they say, there's fire. Now you got a big bang, fire. Oh, how the fuck did that happen? It's explained here. 
Ooh, this these secrets are so jealously guarded. Many people have lost their lives trying to protect these secrets. Your secret is safe with me. I know I'm always gonna sing that song every time I hear that word secret. I know that was that was quite a song though. Okay. Nice, I have that moon deck. Yeah, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it very much. Ah, uh, young Ra, how do you find your gifts and talents or your true purpose? They tell you. They tell you. They tell you in your dreams, in your vision. They tell you. They talk to you. I'm drinking Aperol, right? JD, JD 102. Mm. Oh, I love peppermint tea. I'm going to get some. After I'm done, I'm going to get some. Exotic old a reading. Yeah, you're probably one of those 11. I already tell you what happened. So you'll get it. There was a problem with the Zoom. That's all being fixed. So you'll get it. Between today and tomorrow, because it was a lot of you, but we had a glitch in the system. Don't worry. You'll get it. and It'll, it'll be good. Listen, I was mad because I got to redo them. Yeah, they, I got exotic bliss. They, there was a problem with the Zoom audio. We have to do them over. It wasn't our fault. It was a fault of uh, Zoom because we, had, we were under a heat advisory. And nothing worked and everything fell apart. And this seems to be a common occurrence in Houston. So that's why you didn't get your video. So you'll have to unfortunately be patient until it is done correctly. We did fix the problem. So you will get your video. Don't worry. But it was 11 of it's a lot. And it was a lot of work. So be patient. Uh, we you know don't like when these things happen. But they do. What can you do about it? Uh, we could try to fix the problem as best as possible. Okay. I'm going to get my fireball. Yeah, get your fireball. Dear Fernando, love you reading. I love you too. Love you more. Torres, how many bottles do you have a day? I have one bottle every three days. Because if I had a bottles every day, I would not be this sober, right? I mean, put two and two together now. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let, ooh, 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 ooh. Light walkers, Onyx Crowd, hi there. I am my moon is in Aries. Eduardo, as a child, I will stay at the moon randomly. Yes, you know, we're innocent as children. We're innocent. But once we get older, we, we begin to feel the deal. Aurora Coleman, you're about to pay for a reading. All right, let me, let me put your name down. We are no longer under a heat advisory. Thank God. Uh, we're able to breathe a little better. Now, I just put my glasses down somewhere. There we are. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, who is this? Uh, Aurora Coleman. Aurora Coleman, I had done a reading for you before a few days ago. No? You want another reading? Okay, let's hear. Aurora Coleman. Please be advised that a healthy of readings should be done every 90 days or every three months, which is a quarter. Unless you have a specific issue that you want to, to uh, discuss or address, uh, you shouldn't get a readings back to back. It should be once 
every three months. That's a whole quarter. That's a whole year. So you should be technically getting a reading four times a year. Four times three is 12 months. That's a healthy, spread out, balanced way of getting readings. Again, general readings. If you want to find out specific thing, then you can, then it, that's different. But general overall readings should be done once every three months for them to be effective. Okay, Justin Tabot, how are you? Light Walker, his moon is in area. I got my moon in Cancer in the 12th house. I wonder what that means. You know, you can go to Cafe Astrology uh, as a free website, and they give you some break, basic breakdowns, which I think is good. I think it's good. You should you should, you should look at those. That, those are good uh, websites. Okay, Sadie, Devereaux. Yeah, dinosaurs were our nemesis. Yeah, they, we were around when they were around. Well, I want to say that's right. That, yeah, you did. You did. Aurora. Uh, young Ra, you can be a medium. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we don't have a lot of knowledge about that. Many of them were planets and are now the moons. They've become moons. Remember, Jupiter has 67 moons. Saturn, I think, has about 50-something moons. It's a lot of moons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. One second, that's uh, the... Hello? I'm going to text you. Oh, okay. Okay, I was just told that I'm going to be text the names of people that are going to be getting the readings, okay? And and we are, even as we speak, they are working on those who, the videos were done to fix the audio. That's happening even as we speak. This was a problem of Zoom, not us. So we we have that clear. So we will we will redo them if we have to. But they've already done. They're trying to restore the audio on those videos. Uh huh. Katrina Bernson. You wonder where black holes comes from? I can tell you. Where do black holes come from? Right here. Da. This is where black holes come from. In Da. In the Bible, guess what it's called in the Bible? Because the Bible mentions black holes and mentions what happens in them. Mm. Guess what the Bible calls them? Greeting from Australia, Angela Kinis. Greetings. Yes, it is. Ah, I know a lot of people, they ask me that too. I've been interviewed on talk shows and some of that. Where do you get your knowledge? How do you get your knowledge? You know shit that professors of Harvard, Yale, no. How do you know? You never had this type of education in these schools. How did you know? How did... And I, I have all kinds. I have been to mother planets and they talk to me and they tell me everything. And it's hard for you to call me a liar because when they research it, it's there. Yes, I also went to Columbia University, a postgraduate. You know, I started to be an anthropologist and I've been writing um, books and reading books my entire life. You all, you all see how I live. I travel the world. I travel every part of the corner of the world. I love to learn. I love to travel. I like to learn from people and study. You know, this has been my life. And this is what I have to, to give to you.
Virgo Sun, Libra Moon, Rising, Pisces, Lady, Lady Jazzy V. I've been so tired. Oh, trust me, I know why. Christina McGuire, Uncle, how are you? What should I do about my North No, 12th house. I need to examine your entire chart before I give you an answer for that. You can buy new glasses. I, I bought direct for cheap as long as you know your prescription. You know what? I do. Thank you for telling me that because here in Houston, it's a fortune. Oh, yes. Aurora, she said that you understand, you just don't believe you're a witch. Oh, we got a little problem. We got a little problem. Put me down for a reading too, please. How my I sell you? By, uh, yeah, let me, let me put the number down. It's 347-4850. Six two five eight. Okay, I just put it down, guys. Look at. Oh, let me put Zelly. Zelly. I'll be up until four in the morning because I'm dealing with two different time zones. Very good. So there's the number. You can sell me right there. Our accounts are stalking you. They're always stalking me, and they're stalking you too. They are our apex predator. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I can tell my family about you to get reading from you, or do they have to find out about you on their own? You are, are you underage, young Ra? If you're underage, then yes. If no, no. That's why it's hard to find no belief, no power, trust, and belief. There's nothing wrong with being a witch. The church has made us feel that there's something wrong with us. But remember, the church was always the enemy. Now, when I say that the church was always the enemy, I'm not saying that the Bible is the enemy. The Bible is not the church. Honestly, what's in this Bible, the church never talks about. They'll skim, they'll skim. They're going to Mark, Luke, Peter, John. They, that's where they go, the gospel. They go, they, they go specific. They don't discuss all the stuff in here. So the problem is not the Bible or, or the verses. The problem is the church because it goes in contradiction to what's in here. But because the church knows that humankind doesn't read what's in front of them, it gets away with these types of injustices. But if you were to read the Bible and listen to what the church is saying, they're two separate things. And that's real. That's our beef with the church. It's not sincere. It's not honest. And it's not telling you the full truth. And we have a problem with that. And we're not going to keep quiet about it. Hello? It is the text in your box. Do I have to write it to your phone? Yeah, I have to write it to your face. I can't write it to you. I think you sent a text to me. Okay, I have to hang up. Okay, it looks like we have a breakthrough concerning the Zoom audios that were down for those of you who did not get it yet. So give me a second.
Okay. <coughs> well, that's a good thing. They have they are coming with a solution. So I'm going to begin the readings now with Tracy Road. You're going to be the first one. You've already given me the green light. Okay, Tracy Road. Ah, we're going to start with you. We're going to start with the purple. Begin and expound with the Alistair Crowley. And then we're going to look towards the specific or centralized theme to the writer and weight deck. All right. Okay, Tracy Road. And I have your spelling. Okay, spirit, show me. Show me. Show me. What is the energy coming towards? Tracy Road. Show me. The hangman in the uh, reverse. So you will stop suspended on something, caught up on something, something that did not go too well in your favor. You might be dealing with a Pisces that uh, was giving you some trouble or not making things easy for you. But this can also mean that you're looking at something, an, a, a, an old situation in, in a new perspective, looking at something old in a new way. You were stuck. Now you are unstuck. Now you are able to break out of whatever it was that was keeping you stuck. Let's go into specific details as to what that was. Okay, spirit, show me. We have a football player. So this person had the body of a football player. Oh, all right. 
something happened at the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon is the most destructive element of the moon phases. Very destructive. So now I take my moon card. Find out what happened here. The first quarter is the first quarter from a new moon or a full moon. What, what occurred here? A time for healing, but it came out in the reverse. So you were afflicted at the first quarter. You were hurt. Something hurt you here with the moon here being in affliction. What was that? What was that pain? What was that hurt that occurred here while the moon was at its first quarter? Blackmail, extortion, in the reverse. So this didn't occur, but something along those lines was a possibility. So let's go into the Alice Crowley deck and find out exactly what this was about. What was this blackmail extortion that could have happened that didn't happen but caused sufficient grief anyway? I mean, who's going to trust someone like that after that, right? You get to really see somebody's true colors. Here's the Ace of Wands. This is a very good looking person. Nice. Cancer energy, the chariot in the reverse, was not successful. Jupiter and Leo, victory, success. You beat this. Whatever this was, there's Leo again, the strength card. Very good, very good. But this, even though you were able to overcome this, this really, really hurt you. But you overcame it, the sun. But it still did not complete a cycle. It didn't close the cycle. This person is still very much in your life, or the influence of what they did is still uh, affecting you. And this was a love situation. There it is. A love gonna ride. Yeah. That's what this was about. Thank you, Spirit. What else? What else took place here? Something about a house. Gleeful, agreeable, but in the reverse. So it's, that would be depression. The workplace. Insincere. Green with envy. A crime may have been committed, or there was it was on the way, but it didn't happen. 
what was this potential crime that could have happened but didn't happen? Spirit, show me. Show me. Show me. Maybe the person thought that this wasn't a crime, but it is a crime. Stalking, love bombing, gang stalking are all illegal activities. Blank. There's the moon. Mm, a crime was committed here and it was kept secret. The moon here. Your secret. It's safe with me. So we go back to the moon card. The moon, the keeper of secrets. Emotions are running high which is very, very indicative of the first quarter moon. Here's the moon and here it is. Why were the emotions running high here? And if the emotions are running high under the auspices of crime in the reverse, then there was great fear here going on. What was that fear based about? So far, these are all internal processes going on here. But it's connected to a partner, a former partner, with the lovers being here and the hangman being here. But I don't see a lot of cups. So this wasn't about love at all. Otherwise, there'd be cups all over the place here. There are, there are very little, if any, cups here. Broke. Britain is broke. Well, that can cause great anxiety where you got no money. That's very true. Provocative? No, nope. and the reverse. Orange. Meaning not much was done about it. Hoping that it will resolve itself. A hookah bar seems significant here. Luxury, the finer things in life. And now we see the cups, but they're reversed. Again, causing anxiety. Capricorn moon in the reverse. A sense of powerlessness, impotence. It's almost like it was a narcissistic, sadistic behavior to keep someone in control but being done in a very subversive way. Here's Saturn. The, the, this, is a, this is a karmic uh, symbol of judgment. Cruelty, Mars and Gemini in the reverse. But someone here was brought under judgment for being very nasty, very cruel, very mean. And I'm getting the sense that it was this football player a football player type of person. Let me tell you something about football players, professional or not. And I, I used to play football in college and in high school. And let me tell you, football players, they can be the most abusive people. They take steroids and that can alter their moods. They lift weights and, 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 and it could be so much that it, it can make them, you know, almost demigods. They hurt, hurt people, hit people, not realizing how strong they are. And there tends to be, there tends to be a propensity for domestic violence and abuse. And here is the card of domestic violence and abuse. Here it is, Scorpio in the reverse. It did not get to that degree where it would be considered a crime. Thank God but it still caused tremendous anxiety. 
Let me pause and look at the chat and see the reaction. Mm -hmm. Broke. Again, let me reshuffle. So there was a toxic cycle that uh, has not yet cycled itself out. This cycle can be con can be perpetuated. It can be continued to perpetuate further if it's not handled right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The dating honeymoon phase. Still in that, there's waiting going on here. Maybe waiting for the situation to get better. In-laws are somehow involved here or not involved. Twelve in three months, a major change will occur, and in three months, we're going to another lunation cycle. Here we go to cards. What is this um cycle? It's another lunation cycle we're about to enter and we're about to go into. Uh, guys, give me one second. The uh, the screen on my hotel bedroom window fell down. So let me um, close it. Because now... The mosquitoes can go in, can come in. Because I'm like, well, what's biting me? But when I realized that it was open. Okay. And here we have. Surrounded by the divine. You are protected, my dear. Very good. Something is coming to your rescue. Because you are innocent in this situation. Relax. Don't worry about this. Your ancestors got this. There was no harmony or there is none at the moment, but it will be restored. On a full moon, a cycle of pain will end and break. There was a blocking going on against you, blocking you from moving forward. That's being unblocked. Someone is praying. You have a grandmother, someone, mother figure that prays for you and is protecting you behind the scenes. Uh, there's an issue here with being broke. Either that person is or you are. And maybe you might need to focus on your finances before you can focus on love and romance. Usually when you focus on your finances, the love and the romance fall in place naturally. It really does. I've, I've, I've concluded that to be very true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Provocative. Orange again, very lukewarm. The hooker bar seems significant here. Strategic, the person was sloppy and maybe didn't understand, and rather indifferent, or coming across as very indifferent. Hmm. Let us now do a Celtic cross with, a, with a Alistair Crowley deck. and see what holds on for you for the year. Tracy Lode, what is going on? Yes, there was pain here and sadness, sadden in its indolence. 
But then again, not really, because there was also lots of indulgence here. And there was nothing wrong with it. His Torah is the higher font. You seem to be a reader yourself, or you have gifts to also. Um, the queen of this is in the reverse. Defeat in the reverse. You're not going to be hurt or destroyed or defeated. But you got to walk into your calling, and you're not doing that. So here's Saturn again on your ass. There's Mars and Gemini cruelty. You too can be, uh, you know, a, a handful to deal with. But you want to move away from that. I see you here moving away from that. And that's the best thing you can do. Because with Saturn here being on your, on your right side, like they're not going to let you go, but too far. Dang. You have to learn to balance and be even tempered. Okay? All right. We're going to take a half hour break and we will return. Okay? I hope this resonates. <laughs> 